The big Wall Street banks are leaving their trash all over San Diego. They are foreclosing on homes and literally trashing neighborhoods by not maintaining those properties. But the neighborhoods, they're fighting back. Details tonight from KUSI's Steve Bosch in the newsroom. Steve? Sandra, a group of uh, folks in southeast San Diego have come up with a novel way of sending the banks a message. They decided to trash the banks. A home foreclosure at 287 South Look at 36th Street. The sign on the house, now owned by Bank of America, warns trespassers. Everything is locked up here. The property has gone to seed. The backyard is littered with debris. It's become a dumping ground. This house is an example of what's been done to the community by the foreclosure crisis. David Langstein is with the Alliance of Californians for Community Empowerment, the organizer of this protest. He says these foreclosed properties are breeding grounds for all sorts of troubles. In addition to the impact on families and displacement and the heartache, the impact to the neighborhoods is terrible. Um, the, crime that, the crime that increases, um, the quality of life, the property values that it impacts. Juanita Clemens has lived across the street since the 1950s. She's watched people come and go with a stop to dump their trash. Here in the last six or seven months, this house over here has created an eyesore. It has junk and all kinds of different stuff that people don't even, I don't know why they would want to, well, I guess they thought it was a city dump. These blighted areas not only drag down property values, there's a huge cost to local government for inspections, for upkeep, for police and fire calls, and other services. I don't feel safe in the neighborhood like I used to because there's people coming in and out of the house, you know, doing drugs or I don't know what they're doing inside this vacant home. There are many, many homes like this, many neighborhoods like this all around San Diego, and we're here to send a message that Wall Street banks like Bank of America need to take responsibility with what they're doing to our communities. The message to the bank is, this is your property, take care of it. The bank hasn't, so these folks went into the backyard, taped Bank of America property signs on the trash, loaded the trash into the back of a pickup truck, and drove it to a Bank of America branch at 36th and National. BMA, you're the worst! Time to put the people first! BMA, you're the worst! They had come to the bank to make a deposit. We came to give you a deposit. You own the property, you own this trash. It's yours. So we want to deposit it. He's not a bank official, but he is with the bank's security. While they were at the bank, they found the doors locked, although there were employees inside. The cops were there too, but they couldn't do anything because the protesters were on the bank's private property. The bank would remain closed until the protesters left. An ordinance is working its way through city council to force the banks to act. If they don't, they suffer the consequences. By fining them up to $1,000 a day until they clean up their mess. Now, the bank allowed the protesters to, uh, you know, do their thing without interference. They simply didn't want to prolong this protest. Sandra? And Steve, you mentioned 57,000 foreclosures. Yeah. Is that in the city or is that across the county? That's just the city, Sandra. A recent study by the Center for Policy Initiatives projected that the number of foreclosures over a five-year period ending this year. Now, the combined estimated loss, according to the study, was $19 billion, costing taxpayers over $100 million. So, just astounding and sad for all the families who have been displaced as well. Yeah, I think the owner of that house uh, is now homeless. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Steve. All right.